Spartans their first side they'll have to take on here. And they will certainly look to the man who's almost had a sixth sense so far this season in terms of creation on the field. That man is Jack Holland. Yeah, Jack Holland hasn't really stepped up until his senior year, but now that senior year is upon him, boy, has he stepped up in a big way. I mean, four goals and six assists. That leads the Big Ten. 14 points in 13 games. That's just unmatched production in college soccer. And off of the stat sheet, Coach Masonoff has really been impressed with the way he stepped into a leadership role this year, and that's really important because that complements the stuff that he does on the stat sheet. He's going to be really important going forward today for the Buckeyes. You know it as well as I do. This Spartan attack has been peppered by injuries all season long, but there has been one constant up there for Michigan State for Rai Mutatu. He has the width. He has the pace. He led the team in shots against Akron. They need him here tonight. Yeah, and his pace, I think, is the biggest thing for him. Whether he's playing up front or outside, his pace is just lightning quick and that's going to be really important for the Spartans today because they haven't got a win at home yet and I think on a day like this against a team like Ohio State, Farai Mutatu and his pace could be big for the Spartans going forward. And the way the Buckeyes go, Xavier Green, look at the step overs from him thinking about a crack, they'll curl it towards the back post. Nearly had a man that time, but a skillful run from the Buckeyes there. You can see just how shifty Green is. and I mean, usually he's playing on the left-hand side, but he's on the right-hand side, and he goes onto that favored left foot after he throws Stone the wrong way, and so he needs to get Nick Stone a map because he didn't know where he was going. Sent him to the concession stands with that skill. It's an in-swinger. Deep ball towards the back post, unmarked, driven low, and in. The Buckeyes will get one first here. Look at the celebration that time. And it's the man from Italy. Matteo Benatti strikes first here in East Lansing, 1-0. And that one, I think, was straight off the training ground. It was Holland playing that long, looping ball in. I don't know who got the foot on it first, but it was a deft little flick. Michigan State still, of course, searching for their first home victory, 0-5-3. However, they do have two losses to ranked teams. A couple of touches, baseline in towards Miller. Fizzes it in towards the back post. And a deflection, and in the green and white have leveled it now at home, trying to get their first win of the season. It's our player to watch today, Farai Mutatu, with the finish. And that all comes from Ogan Wally and just how good he is going down that line and the way he recognizes he's got a double team coming onto him, lays it off. What a ball across from Michael Miller, and Mutatu just gets there first. That's all his pace, getting in front of that defender. Michael Miller, I don't know whether it was a shot or a cross. He'll tell you it was a cross because it got on the, the foot of Mutatu, but that's really good play near the box for Michigan State. We haven't seen that tonight, but we do, and the first time they, they show it, it's 1-1. Miller, of course, to me, looked like a strike trying to find that back post. That's but what I was thinking as well. When it came off his foot, it looked, it looked like a shot. He will certainly say, as you mentioned, that it was a low cross, and Mutatu knew right away. Top of the box with space. Dinks it off to George, who turns, sends it to the back post. Clinical from the true freshman, and he is excited about that one. Elation in East Lansing, the knee slide, 2-1 Spartans. I mean, just look, just look at how much that means to Connor George. That's just, I don't care if you're an Ohio State fan or a Michigan State fan, seeing joy like that on the face of a young kid after he scored his first collegiate goal, that's wonderful. Man, does he take it well. Turns onto that weak foot, and you wouldn't know it was a weak foot the way he just slots it in that bottom corner. Well done from Connor George and slotted it home beautifully. The true freshman sends an air kiss into the crowd. Due to a lot to those injuries and the guys they lost. Ball in towards the back post. Nielsen was there, and they're able to net it. It's a man who doesn't find himself on the sheet too often. Michael Watungu out of the back line. Hello, 3-1. Michigan State runs away now at home. Handled by the Buckeyes. Miller, look at the Ooh. curl on that strike. Finds the post. Watungu off the crossbar. Mutatu. And that goes out of bounds. That is one of the finest sequences of collegiate soccer you'll see all season long. Woodwork after woodwork and Mutatu with the finishing cherry on top. Fans are on their feet in DeMartin. Can we believe it, Ian? I mean, you got to put a little asterisk by that. The finest stretch without scoring. Almost hard to believe we just saw that. <laughs> I had to sit down <laughs> for Craziness. a second. Ian almost oh. fell out of his chair as we were watching it here from up top for Damon Rensing. Redemption here at home as they secure their first victory by a final score. Michigan State 3, the Ohio State Buckeyes 1. Ian Gilmore, your thoughts on this matchup tonight? Ohio State will be kind of disappointed just because of how well they started. For Michigan State, I think just the way we talked about it, relief. I think relief is such a big word tonight. That'll do it for us here. Spartans win it for their first home victory of the season 3-1. to one. Joe Freihofer, Ian Gilmore, and our entire crew, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.